why you need more than four dimensions for your string theory yeah. universe. Well, it's a very concrete explanation. When we look at the equations of string theory, there's a consistency equation where something must equal zero or the math doesn't work. That something is a product of two things. One term is really complicated. It's never zero. The other term is the number of dimensions minus 10. The only way to get it to be equal to zero is for D to be equal to 10. That's it. I am not joking. This is where the constraint of extra dimensions comes from in string theory. The math is forcing our hands. Forces your hand. Right. And then you say, well, let me take this math series. And one thing you could say is, well, if it's not D equals four, three space and one time, throw the theory away. Others of us will say, hey, let's consider no, the possibility. Don't sell the universe short. Yeah, exactly. So why should these three dimensions of space be the only ones? Right. We only are aware of them because they're big enough that we can be directly aware of them with these really faulty sensors that we have. Right.